Hi, I'm John McClay from Red Spice QV, and today we're going to be making a fantastic pork noodle soup, a Thai pork noodle soup. Now this dish has got a special place in my heart because every time I'm in Thailand, pretty much every day I'm in Thailand, I'm always eating it. It's delicious and it brings back fantastic memories for me. Alright, so we're going to start off with the base stock, or the base broth, okay? So we've got some chicken stock here. Uh, I've made this with roasted chicken bones, so it's a lovely rich colour. So we just pour it into our, our pot. Right, now we're going to put in some aromatics. We've got some cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon. Some star anise. Not too much, we just want this to flavour it slightly. We don't want it to be overpowering at all. Alright. Some smashed up garlic cloves, I've just smashed with the butt of my knife and a little bit of sugar, just to balance out the flavours. And then our salt, which of course is fish sauce. You can use soy sauce if you want, but I like to use fish sauce. Now, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that to the boil, we're gonna let it, turn it down to a simmer, and simmer it for about an hour. All right, so our broth's been simmering away for about an hour, and now it's pretty much perfect, so we'll give it a strain. Ditch the aromatics and plonk in some noodles straight into the beautiful aromatic stock. Just a quick warm up. Now we're going to put in some water spinach. Now if you can't get your hands on water spinach, normal spinach would do or any green leafy vegetable. I like using this because of the coarseness of the stalks. So we're just going to chop into the stalks a little bit. I'll turn it around and cut a little bit of the leaf. Right, it's going to go straight into our broth to cook a little bit. Okay, we've got these pork balls that are just made up with uh, pounded pork adds great bounce to the soup, great bouncy texture. In they go. Some beetroots, it's a small handful. Move it around a little bit, just to make sure the ingredients cook evenly. All right, it's about enough. Straight on top of our noodles. It's already starting to look fantastic. Now, I've got this fantastic char siu pork. Now, I've used pork fillers. You could buy this from um, an Asian grocer if you wanted. It's really simple to do yourself. Now, we just need a few slices of this. Oh, look at that. Cooked, uh, I cooked it, so it is cooked to perfection, of course. But look, cooked medium, it's delicious. Now, we just want some thin slices of that. So we've got five to six slices. We're just gonna arrange that nicely on the soup. There we go. Look at the color of that. Magnificent color. Beautiful pork on top of our noodles and our bean shoots. Now he's going to break up a little bit of Thai basil. Once again, a fantastic aromatic flavour this gives to the soup. So we're just going to tear it up with our hands. A few chilies on top, more for colour than anything else. Um, obviously, if you like your soup really hot, you can add chilli. But what I tend to do is I serve a few condiments on the side and you can make it as hot or as mild as you like. Okay, now we're just going to smooth our delicious broth on top of these fantastic ingredients. Look at that, looks amazing. Makes me think of being in Thailand, which I will be later on this afternoon. Okay, there we go. Top with some peanuts. Onto the plate. Some extra Thai basil on the side. Some extra bean shoots. Some chili vinegar and some chili flakes. And there you have it, a fantastic, simple Thai pork noodle soup.